the new open source AI model from Meta called Llama 3.2. We are going to explore how to run it on Hugging Face and Olama and take a closer look at fine tuning Llama 3.2 for your specific use case. Plus, stick around for a bonus tip on preparing your own data set for the fine tuning process. All right, let's dive in. First thing first, let's introduce Llama 3.2. The open source AI model is fully fine tunable, distillable, and deployable on just about any platform. Llama 3.2 includes both vision based and lightweight models. Vision based models with 11 billion and 90 billion parameters for image understanding, that's some new weights. Lightweight text only models with 1 billion and 3 billion parameters that can even run on edge or mobile devices pretty interesting. The 11 billion and 90 billion vision models are next level when it comes to tasks like image understanding. According to Meta, they outperform even close models like Claude 3 Haiku, but we can just skip the benchmarks because we are going to test it ourselves and see if it fits our use case. And if you are curious about how they handle images, Meta has integrated image encoders directly into the language model via adapter weights. Now here's the best part for developers. Meta is releasing their first official Llama stack distributions. This will greatly simplify working with Llama models across different environments, whether you're using it locally, on the cloud, or on edge devices. Now for the lightweight models, Meta has two advanced methods, pruning and distillation. And the result is highly capable 1 billion and 3 billion models that can run efficiently on mobile and edge devices. Pruning reduces the size of the models while retaining performance and distillation teaches a smaller model from a larger one, maintaining accuracy while using fewer resources. Now Meta is teasing some exciting demos like text summarization, and mobile writing assistance, but we'll have to wait for the official release to dig into this and therefore I would not like to comment on the results that we see here. So whether we need a small efficient text-only model or a large powerful vision model, Llama 3.2 has you covered. Now you can choose between two things. You can choose between the lightweight 1 billion and 3 billion text models or you can go for the larger 11 billion and 90 billion models which can handle both text and image inputs. Now this is part one of the four part series focused on Llama 3.2. Please watch the second video in the series where we set up Llama 3.2 on Linux using Hugging Face library and PyTorch and on another instance we use the famous Olama. In the third video we are going to fine tune our Llama 3.2 model using generic dataset. And in the fourth video, we are going to switch up the level and build our own dataset from unstructured data. If you are excited about this open source revolution, congrats. I'll see you in the next one.